Welcome guys! Today I'm going to go ahead and teach you how to mine on your personal computer. A few things about this, you do need to have a great graphics card, pretty much 3 gigs or higher, so make sure you check that uh, AMD and Verizon. Both NVIDIA work well. I have AMD in my computer. Uh, it's not the newest of the new, but it does pretty good. Um, so I'm going to kind of explain a few things, how to do that, and what you need to get started. So if you're excited to mine and make a little extra money, or just get some cryptocurrency and hold on to it and watch it rise, this is the video for you. So let's just jump in. First, if you haven't watched my last video, you do need a wallet. A uh, wallet is to hold your money, basically. Um, the best wallet that I have found, the most popular, is Coinbase by far. Uh, I do have a link down below if you want to join. You do need a wallet to get started because without it, you're not going to collect any money. So uh, if you are interested, go ahead and if you click on my link, once you have so much money go into the account, we both get $10. So it does help out both of us, and I really do appreciate it. It helps me to do some more videos as well. Um, so when you go here, all you have to do is go to sign up up top right here and choose sign up. And when you do that, the next screen will go ahead and give you a shot here to go ahead and put your name, last name, email, and your location, uh, I'm not a robot, all that fun stuff. It's pretty straightforward. Once you go ahead and do that, you'll create an account. Um, the account does have to be verified, um, and they'll go through and pretty much walk you through that. Um, so once you have your wallet set up, you can start receiving funds. So let's go ahead and go to the next part which is the um, miner it's actually let's go to the pool first um, so you have your wallet that's where the money's going to go so when you're mining there's two ways to do it there's solo by yourself or there's with a group of people if you go solo by yourself you need an insane amount of miners and computers to and you also have to have some luck on your side to get lucky to go ahead and find a block and make some money. Uh, but what people do is they all group together in what's called a pool and everyone shares. So every time someone finds a block, everyone gets a little piece of the action and that's how it works. So that's what pools are. Uh, there's lots of different ones out there. You can research it. I've been using Ethermine. I really enjoy it. They pay out, I believe, weekly at a 0 0.01 Ethereum or higher. Um, there's no fees when they pay out either. Just boom, goes right into your wallet. You get an email, you got some uh, currency, and there you go. Uh, so this is some of my stat or some of the stats for the pool here. If you scroll down, it'll give you some information. We're going to be using the Claymore Miner here. Uh, so this is the information we want to use. So basically, if you were here, what you'd want to do is click where you're located underneath here. So if it's, uh, I'm on East Coast, North America, so I would want this one here uh, as my pool. So, which is basically this one or this one for my code. Uh, so I can put that in there. I'll also have this code um, down below if you just want to copy it and, ex and change it um, and get it working there. So now you're got your pool, you got your wallet, so now you need the miner. You gotta start mining and making that Ethereum. There's other currencies out there right now. I'm gonna show you Ethereum for now. Uh, it is doing very well, around $800 per coin. So yeah, doing well. Um, there's a site here, Claymore Miner is what I recommend. If you search Claymore Miner, you'll bring it up right in Google. Um, I'll also put the link down below. Uh, when you download it, I suggest using the Mega link here uh, just because the Google one sometimes blocks certain things and you don't want to start with any problems. Just get the Mega one right away. Um, so once you download it, uh, you're going to go ahead and unzip it. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with how to unzip a file. Um, basically, you would be here, you double click on it, and then you just ex extract it to the folder you want to go to. So we have it right here in the Claymore folder. We don't have to touch anything except the start.bat. That's the only thing we got to change. Uh, so what you do is right click and choose edit. And this last line is the one we're worried about right here. Um, what we want to do first is put our Ethereum pool address, which I showed you earlier, 
Um, I'm US East Coast, so if you're on US East Coast and you copy it down below, you can just keep it there. I'll put this one line down below and then just leave the other things as they are. Um, so after you put your pool, next you need your wallet address so they know who to send it to. So this would be the wallet address. So if you go in Coinbase, you could just go under Ethereum wallet and there'll be a thing to copy the address. Just grab the address and then paste it in here. So now they know how to pay you. It's kind of like they're direct depositing into your bank and this is like your uh, bank routing number. Um, but it's okay to show people this because it is a public uh, thing. And um, after that, you just put period and then you name your computer. Basically, I did station one. That way, if I have another computer, I could call it station two, station three. And because you can have multiple computers all working together on this one pool and building up the revenue. So once you get that going, all you have to do is save it. Uh, just do file, save, and you're going to have your start.bat saved. At that point, you are good to go to run the miner as long as your card supports it. Um, I will go ahead and try to run the miner here. I'm not sure how it's going to do with recording, uh, but we're going to see. Okay, looks like we're going to be okay. It might skits a little bit once it starts going. Uh, it did find one card, 28 compute units. So it's going to go through and now it's going to go ahead and start hashing, which is kind of like trying to mine for some blocks. And when you get a block, that turns into Ethereum. Ethereum, you can get, you could save it or you can transfer it to cash and cash out. So that's kind of how it works. Now keep in mind this does do use electricity, um, so you want to make sure it's worth it on your graphics card, kind of figure that out. Um, I'll probably go into electric in another future video once uh, I have my rig built and I understand it uh, better. I don't want to start talking about it until I get it to the point where I am very familiar with it. Um, so here it goes, um, total speed 19.95 mega hash. That's a little slow right now, but I am running my recording software and I also have a few apps open. I'm usually around 20.5, 20 20.6 mega hash. Not that it's a huge difference, um, but this is how it works. So now it's going through and looking for um, things to mine. When you do get a, a, a mine, which a block, which is also called a share, um, it'll say share in green. Anytime you hit that, that adds some more stuff to the pool and other people can be getting stuff from the pool and it just, it's really nice. Um, you can see your stats real time on Ethermine after it takes a little, after it refreshes, usually about 15 minutes. Uh, so give it some time. So there you go. You just see that green block there that says share found. So that's good. That's going to help us uh, help out our pool. So the more shares we get, the, the higher the money goes to the pool. So hopefully they all are finding shares as well. Um, so that is mining, guys. A few things. I do have the AMD graphics card. If you are running AMD, a little trick a lot of people don't know is you can go in your graphics card here under gaming. Um, and then you go to global settings. This GPU workload, it's usually set to graphics for games. You want to change it to compute and then um, save it. It'll restart your graphics card drivers, uh, the software here, and then you'll be running compute. You're looking probably a gain of about 1.5 to 2.5 hash a second mega hash a second, which is a nice gain. So uh, if you do have AMD, make sure you download the graphics package from their website and use the compute. Just keep in mind, if you're going back to gaming, come back in here, switch it back or your game's not gonna look very good. Um, this does also um, take, this does work hard on your graphics card, so it can reduce the life of your graphics card. Um, but in my mind, I, I think it's worth it for me because you know, by the time the card's gone, I'm going to want to upgrade anyway. Um, so just keep that in mind. You are using electricity. You are using your graphics card. The rest of the computer doesn't require that much 
of work. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sure there's going to be some questions because there was a lot we went over. Um, so just to go through and refresh real quick, first you need a wallet. Uh, go to Coinbase. Uh, you, my link is down below. We each get $10, so that's awesome. I'll have the Claymore, which is the miner link down below, or you could just search for it. And I will also have the uh, Ethermine link below as well. Uh, that way you can grab your pool. Uh, once again, you just go ahead and you find your location. Uh, if you're in Europe, you would go here. Uh, and then you would just replace this with this right here. Uh, like I said, I'll have this full line down below in the description of what I have mine set. Just make sure you change the wallet address or you'll be mining for me. <laughs> Unless you want to mine for me, then hey, thanks. I appreciate that. <laughs> Uh, so guys, that's everything. I'm going to show you some more videos in the near future. I want to take a little by little. We have um, almost all our stuff for the mining rig that came in. So we are going to be building that in a future video. Um, we're going to be working on changing some wiring in my house today so we can run it in the basement because the basement's always cold and it does put off a lot of heat. If you don't know what a mining rig is, it's a computer basically just set up with graphics cards just to mine. Um, I make about, on my regular, this computer right now that I'm using, I make about $2.23 a day. Uh, I think that's the, the latest. Um, let me see if I can go to stats here real quick. Okay, I did close off the miner just um, to make sure things, you know, don't get a little crazy here and you can, the video doesn't get choppy. Um, so here is my information. My hash rate's 19.8. That's, like I said, because I'm running... Um, I was running it while I was streaming, and this is some information they got here. Uh, I was pulling up lots of shares, which is nice. If I go to payouts, um, they'll show you uh, the payout, um, what my estimation is. It went down to 207 because it takes the last 24 hours, and I've been using the computer a lot. Um, so still going to make over $2 in a day. Um, I'm running a AMD Radeon r9 380 uh with three 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 point five gigs i think it's three i'm slipping 3.5 one of those um so that gives you an idea of the miner guys uh enjoy thank you for being here appreciate it and as always smack out